It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with the Q. We're on the ground in San Francisco at the Mission Bay Conference Center at Node Summit 2015. The show's been going on for a couple years. We haven't been here since 2012. We wanted to come up and see what's going on, and we're really excited to be joined by our next guest, Juan Carlos Soto, the CEO of Strong Loop. Welcome. Thank you. It's been a great show so far. So you're relatively new, you said, to this space, uh, relatively new to Strong Loop. What brought you here? A lot yeah. of opportunities right now, so it had to be something special. Yeah. Well, although I've only been with Strong Loop for five months, uh, the decision to be here has been a few years in the making. What I'm seeing is a lot of enterprises are changing the way that they're connecting things together, all driven by this demand in mobile. Um, and so Strong Loop is the leader in, in enterprise Node, and Node is typically what's used for connecting all these things together. Had to be here at the show, had to be part of Node and the whole transition that's going on in the market today. Yeah, awesome, so that's great. So what, kind of what's your impression? You've been here for a couple of days, yeah. there's a lot of good keynotes, a lot of good uh, feeling going on. Absolutely, um, clearly there's definitely a community around Node that bottoms up is building this enthusiasm, but what I found really exciting is if you go to any of the sessions, they're always full. You're lucky to get even standing room only, they're right. turning people away at the door. That right. shows that we're really onto something big. The other part that I find really amazing is if you look at all the announcements that a lot of folks have done over the last few days, they're all about how Node in the, is going in the enterprise. So it's not just about open source or about projects, it's about real business projects and real companies using the technology today. Interesting, so we talk a lot, we go to a lot of shows, I think we did 60 shows last year, and the consumerization of IT is really a big trend, right? And not so much, you know, really defined by people's expectations of the way they interact with technology, their expectations of what's going to be on their phone, yeah. the expectation of personalization and availability, and all Absolutely. this stuff that's really driven by Google and Amazon and Facebook and these applications that have driven people's expectations. So, node moving into the enterprise, are we going to be able to see that delivery uh, from all of our big enterprise apps, both internally and externally? Well, you're exactly right. There's a big change in the market today. You may not know, but more connections are made over mobile devices today than over fixed line devices. So people want the devices that they have, that they're familiar with, they're comfortable with, which puts a burden on companies to deliver information and services in the right way. Right. So to your exact point, they all have to connect a mix of data. Some of it is on-premise, traditional data, but more of it is in other parts of the web or in clouds or in other services, whether it be mapping, together with other other devices, Node is exactly the right environment to do that, to glue all that together, to serve all the data you need for the front end apps that people are creating every day. Right. So for the people that aren't familiar with Strong Loop, give them the, uh, the two minute the two minute infomercial. Sure, sure, so we're focused on bringing enterprise grade Node to help companies do what we call power the API economy. So as all these companies are forced to serve more devices and more ways of getting their data out, they do it through APIs. Right. Node, as I mentioned, is the environment, the language, the platform, if you will, to, to service and create these new APIs. So we build a set of commercial technologies all built over open source. We're leaders in the open source community as well that help enterprises use Node today, right away, and be productive and bring these new services to market. And the other thing that's just fascinating is it's this combination of, of open source and proprietary, and it, everyone really adopting a combination of those two things to deliver faster innovation. Absolutely, so it's all about driving adoption. So the open source means you've got a very, very wide reach. We've seen this before, we saw this with Linux, we've seen right. this with Hadoop and big data, right. but then you also need companies that can stand behind it to commercialize it, provide the support, and the additional innovation technology that solves solves real business problems. That's exactly what you're seeing in the Node ecosystem. It's exactly what Strong Loop is doing. Excellent, so I'm sure we'll see you here next year. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so what are your priorities for 2015? What is it kind of a top, yeah. of, your, top yeah. of mind for you as yeah. you move forward this year? Well, first let me hope it's in a place with bigger rooms because <laughs> this thing is exploding. But my priorities next year is to continue to drive um, fast innovation around Node to bring it to market with more and more capabilities that customers are asking for more quickly. Some of the announcements this week around a Node Foundation uh, is going to certainly help accelerate that and bring even more folks to the ecosystem. For Strong Loop, I hope you're going to see an even bigger list of customers next year, large and small companies that shows the kind of traction we're getting in the market. All right, excellent. Well, we'll be looking for that. Thank so you. thanks for stopping by. Great to I'm see Carlos you. I'm Soto from Strong Loop. We're here on the ground at uh, San Francisco, the Mission Bay Conference Center. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE.